From the outside, it would seem somewhat strange for a man who owned a Formula One team to give it up and come to America to join a struggling series. But that is exactly what Paul Stoddart's done. He pulled out of F1 after the 2005 season, tried unsuccessfully to get back into F1 for 2008, and then ultimately decided to bring his minority team to Champ Car. The politics got a bit serious, and after what happened in India in 05, you know, I never really got over that. Um, so I just thought it was time to move on. And also, you know, this when you come to Champ Car, it's all the things I wanted to do in Formula One. I wanted to get Formula One closer to the people. We did the two seater program, we, we, you know, we got people to sort of see it, feel it, almost touch it. Um, but Champ Car's all about that. It's about the festivals of speed, it's about the three days of entertainment. And, you know, we've just fitted in like a glove here. And the one big, big difference is for a $10 million budget, you can run a competitive. It does feel like a, a new adventure and I feel uh, very happy inside, you know, it's um, Formula One is very difficult, um, as you know with the right team you, you cannot perform well and you need to be happy with like when you qualify 9 or 10, um, so it's, yeah, it's strange and here I feel like I have more in control, I'm with a new team and I can, uh, can push the guys very hard and uh, I can look for good results. And good results they've had, scoring their first win last weekend. So how did a rookie team form such great chemistry so quickly? I did a test with Foresight uh, in, at the end of my F1 season last year. And it was Michael there, uh, Michael Cannon was working there. And we had a good day and I got used to the car quite quickly. And uh, then Paul Stoddard told me he was going to start the team. And I said, well, I need one good engineer. Because in this series, you just need a good engineer, some good mechanics, and you're there. And uh, I said, I want Michael. And then he said to Michael, well, I can get Robert from F1 over. So uh, yeah, it, it worked out well. We did that test with Foresight at the end of last year. And I was really quite impressed with them. I was very impressed with his uh, his ability and his feedback, and also just how calm he is in the car. Nothing's really a problem. I mean, he just runs lap after lap after lap. I mean, a classic Dornboss moment, really, or moments, is at Portland, where he just took a tenth off of Will Power every lap for 40 laps straight and never made a mistake. The guy's fitness is not to be believed, and his, uh, his focus is extremely good. And if Dornboss continues to impress and Formula One comes calling again, what do you consider returning? To be honest, uh, it wouldn't be a punishment to stay here because, uh, you know, like I said, I, I feel happy. I feel like I'm in control more than, uh, than I was in Formula One. Um, you know, you have to just beat your teammate in F1 and I did that last year and I think next year uh, it was, uh, we just have to sit around the table and uh, see what they can offer me if, uh, if it's a ride in F1. And the car is competitive, of course, I would like to, to come back. If not, uh, I would prefer to win races uh, on this part of the ocean. I think I can understand exactly what he's saying when he says that he'd rather be competing at the top end here than competing at the bottom end in F1. And incidentally, when Stoddart tried unsuccessfully to return a team to F1 for 2008, he lost out to Dave Richards, who will head the ProDrive F1 team next season.